Spinach, what it looks like. Let me show y'all. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna chop it with y'all so I can show y'all how to chop it. And you're gonna rinse that off. I ain't rinse it off yet. I'll rinse the vegetables off though. Let me show y'all. So we got four bell peppers. We got two scotch bonnets. We got a large red pepper. I sliced some. And this one is not diced yet. I'll just put that to the side for dicing. This is one in the blender. No. Um, tomatoes in this dish. Usually we would put like tripe, cow foot, beef, stuff like that. We brought y'all in close, so I'm gonna just show y'all. This is already chopped spinach. As you can see, it's chopped spinach. I like to chop it down some more just to, you know, be extra, especially the big pieces of the here. I gotta buy me some more kitchen knives because honey, this ain't it. This ain't even really the right knife to use, but see how that just broke up like that? This is already chopped, so I can use that sword. <laughs> so, or you can just break it up with your fingers. Put it in this bowl, I'm gonna rinse it off, and yeah, and I'll be back. Alright, y'all, so now I got the heat on right now I'm about to turn it down about to put this palm oil in there if y'all hear that in the background that's my boyfriend trying to open up the can all right so now I'm about to put this palm oil in here I can get it open okay the whole thing came off here. okay so we're gonna put a lot of palm oil because again this dish does have no other liquid so While that's doing that, you're gonna blend all your peppers and onions together. Half of the onion, make sure you put the other half in the oil. And I'm gonna just do this first, blend it down, and I'm gonna add the rest in it because it's literally not as good. So the oil is melted down. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in there. Take it off the eyes real quick. We're gonna test it. Yep, she ready. So we're gonna put it back on here. Put it all over. And then we're gonna drop the rest in. So put these down for a minute. Not too long. I cut them up in big chunks, but you can cut them. However you want. Then we're gonna add our crayfish. Okay y'all, so now we're about to add the shrimp powder. Or if you got crayfish, you can add crayfish. We're about to turn the tea back on the yeah, Blend in the peppers. I'm gonna show y'all what they look like in a minute. Put it on like four. We'll add a little shrimp powder to it. What y'all wanna do, don't let this fry more than 30 seconds. Shrimp powder. It's gonna have a bigger taste to it. So we're gonna let that fry in there. Grab a little season. Then we 
about to add our pepper sauce in there, pepper sauce, just a little bit more. Good. Uh oh. Like. I know this pot is a little small, but it's all right. I'm gonna add the macro in there. Add this macro to it. All right, let's go for this seat. Oh, let's see. So, slowly stir this in there. You can fry it at the bottom so it can release more flavor out. I kind of forgot, I'm not going to lie. But it's fine either way. So what we're going to do, we're going to add some Maggie. I'm going to add about two and a half. Take the spoons. Put the Maggie. Just wanted to come and tell y'all that I added some um, garlic powder, a little tiny bit of curry. I had put some, obviously y'all seen I put the Maggie in there, and then I put some salt, and I'm putting some garlic, and I put a little bit of curry powder in there. So, yep, I'm gonna cook this down. Then we're gonna add this in there, cause this pot is so small. This is all I have, so I'm gonna cook this down some more, and then I'm gonna add this in there. And then she will be done. So y'all this look. Look at this. Mm. Mm. Y'all fell on my hand, but I had to taste it. She hot though. She is definitely hot. So we about to add our um vegetables in there. I gotta go ahead and add those. Alright, y'all, so now I'm just adding the spinach in there. Alright, y'all, so that's the finished look. You know what I'm saying? She's looking scrumptious. Let's zoom in a little bit if you're letting me. I like mine with a lot of green, you know what I'm saying? She's a little scrumptious, y'all. Scrumptious. She's very. Alright, I'm gonna take her off of this eye because I don't want her to cook no further. Take her over there. That's off. And I might come back and show y'all how it up here. I'm going to eat this with some pounded jam. If I don't come back, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Powder, I added a little bit more shrimp powder, a little bit more salt. Um, we're going to probably add a little bit more Maggie just to top it off for the, uh, for the um, what is it? vegetables and stuff. But you can do what you want with that, you know, everything to your taste. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoy and uh, let's dig in and see if I can put this up here and so we can taste it. It's great y'all, I actually already tasted it. I gotta actually move my tripod out of the way and everything so I'm gonna just go ahead and eat. But I might do a mukbang after the mukbang with y'all because I still have plenty more left over. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.